I always wanted to do comedy when I was in high school. I'd uh, entertain all the kids in front of the uh, school buses whenever we'd have field trips. Like, you know, I'd keep everybody entertained. I'd be the guy who'd make all the announcements in high school and the intercoms. One of the career counselors said, you know, I think uh, you got something. He knew one of the comedy club owners in town. Uh, he introduced me and then I started doing open mics. And then from there on, I just uh, slowly built my career. The bilingual comedy show started happening because in Montreal, the city that the show takes place, there are people who speak both languages and there are tons of bilingual people. And there was never anything culturally that would speak to both of those crowds together. You never see them in an, at an event together except to watch the Montreal Canadiens, which is our local hockey team. People would always have TV shows and comedy shows for the Anglos and then they'd have something separate for the Francophones. So, I thought, you know, I'm perfectly bilingual. I know most of my friends are. There's a demand for this, and you've never seen both sides come together in, in, in one room and enjoy anything in, in the city. So I thought, let me try it. And I thought, what better way than to do a stand-up comedy show? So I put it together, and and, uh, and uh, here we are. What's your name? What's your name? Come on, step up. Sabrina, you okay? You're Italian. Okay, is that a threat or what? Well, the first indice is the barbe, and... Do people react to the same jokes in different languages? They do. I mean, a lot of stuff is very universal. You know, like when you talk about, when I talk about my relationship with my family. I talk about, you know, my relationship with girlfriends or ex-girlfriends. Like, you know, people can relate to that no matter where you live. So those parts are very universal. And then I talk a lot about my travels and traveling around the world. And people want to hear that. They want to hear something. They want to learn something from a different culture as well. So you give them a little bit of everything. You give them something they already know, and you give them something that they can learn from. 